So we'll talk about the LSZ formula. The LSZ formula stands for Lehman, uh, Semanzig, Zimmerman uh, reduction formula. And it's really important in quantum field theory because you compute out a scattering amplitude and then you want to calculate you know, something that's actual, uh, something that you can measure in an accelerator, so, uh, w which is uh, the amplitude, the quantum amplitude, probability amplitude of a final, you know, initial state going to a final state. And so what you do is you need to employ the LSZ formula. All right, so here I will talk about more technical aspects of LSZ formula in the momentum space, because I think it's, uh, the LSC formula in its momentum space tell, uh, tells a lot and it could be uh, useful when you're calculating uh, Feynman graphs. So first start off with a, uh, with, uh, you know, recalling the Fourier transform of a field from momentum to position. Uh, recall that that's this now this is in the physicist convention or what I will call this Srednitsky convention uh, you're going to have this factor of 2 pi to the d d equals 4 in four dimensions uh, space time now this introduces kind of you know what people call a, a symmetry in the Fourier transform because the other form of uh, the Fourier transform going from position to momentum doesn't have this 2 pi but we're going to roll with this now recall the LSC formula uh, in completely in position space it's this guy this is going to be your probability amplitude of an initial uh, state final state uh, now n is going to be all the incoming particles number of incoming particles n prime is the outgoing particles and then uh, is the formula is this. So, you know, it's going to integrate over these propagators, and T is the time ordered uh, product for this ampli. I want to call this amplitude. I will call it a. Uh, it's not the expectation, really. I'll call it a um, amplitude. Uh, yeah, scanning amplitude when. You've got you know uh, these incoming particles, uh, outgoing particle uh, fields, and their time order. All right, uh, s schematically it kind of looks like this. Uh, well, uh, we've got this formula here, and particles are coming in, and then they're going to interact and then come out to the final state, initial state, and then you want to Fourier transform it into momentum space like that. All right, so how do we do that? So uh, we're going to take this formula and plug it into uh, the amplitude. Plug that in, okay, and then make sure you got the right all indices and stuff like that. Okay, it's the same thing. All I did was just plug this into the previous formula, okay? Nothing fancy, nothing went on. So here are some ingredients that we need to know. You have a, a direct delta function. Uh, this is the formula for the direct delta function in this. Uh, conventions, Renish convention, okay. Uh, so delta function is just, you know, that by definition. All right, so now, you know, you're doing this operation a lot on this guy, okay? So uh, l let me give you some quick and dirty tips. <coughs> uh, the, when you're going from uh, when you're forwarding transform, uh, transforming, you should push out all the in, uh, integration to the left, all the way to the left, all right? And then usually you're gonna switch back uh, the previous most leftist uh, integral to the right, okay? And then see how far to the right you can go, all right? Tip number one. Tip number two is that um, we're gonna be doing it for a lot of indices, just so do it once and then see how it does and then just, uh, you know, repeat. All right, so each of these propagators are going to bring down this uh, ky prime like twice, and then you have i twice, so that's negative, and negative, negative, and positive. So you're going to have like uh, the momentum here squared plus m squared uh, after that. And uh, let's see, we should get uh, doing this integral, 
or uh, position uh, should spit out a uh, direct delta function and then um, with that we can integrate over that and just uh, integration over uh, direct delta function you know just gives you the function at that point where the direct delta function argument equals zero okay so uh, after that all that then you should get this form for this equals uh, this equals this and so now you have the LSC formula in mom uh, momentum space and it looks a lot less it looks a lot less complicated than uh, what it is in position space